Hey, AI enthusiasts and tech fans, what's up? Alfie here, it's part two of CES 2025 and the tech world is buzzing. We've got a huge update that is going to change the landscape of AI robotics. I'm glad you're tuning in today because you won't want to miss this. AI is clearly the star of the show. It's transforming everything from baby gear to gaming. We've compiled the top 10 AI and robotics highlights that you absolutely need to know about, plus a few extra cool finds from the show floor. Let's dive right in. Unitree demonstrated a G1 humanoid robot with the capacity to carry light items and perform basic tasks, guided by AI-based object detection. SwitchBot demonstrated a household robot capable of vacuuming, organizing items around the home, purifying the air, monitoring pets, and even transporting small plates of food. This unit relies on machine learning to become more efficient over time, so it gradually learns the layout of different rooms and responds to unexpected obstacles. Honda unveiled the Zero Saloon electric car, promising robust driver assist features in a system that learns route patterns to tweak battery usage. Amaze Fit showed a fitness watch priced at around $100. It includes voice control, offline maps, health metrics, and an app that taps into machine learning to interpret trends over time. All right, so Samsung introduced a stretchable micro-LED display that alters its shape from flat to raised areas on command. It relies on advanced software that analyzes content and decides which sections to expand, which could be useful for certain gaming or medical visuals. MudraLink presented a neural wristband designed to interpret micro-movements in the wearer's arm. It uses electromyography signals, which are translated by an onboard AI model, allowing the user's hand to act like a virtual mouse or keyboard. RCA exhibited Nipper, a robotic dog that can dance patrol a residence and send video notifications if an intruder appears. It adapts to voice commands in multiple languages over a learning phase. Sony brought an immersive entertainment system that places participants in a multi-sensory setting where LED panels, haptic guns, and real-time positional tracking blend together. The environment uses algorithms that react to movement and distribute sounds and lighting based on any changes in the player's locations. The USPTO revealed a new collectible card celebrating Dr. Ayana Howard, an AI pioneer who developed robots designed to adapt to children with special needs. Some eye-catching robots appeared across the show floor. Mirokai, presented by Enchanted Tools, looked like a fox-like machine that could serve as a concierge or patient companion. It is powered by an AI dialogue setup and includes self-navigation features. Outside of those primary product announcements, there were other notable moments. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang introduced new graphics cards, specialized AI chips, and a $3,000 supercomputer intended for robotics and automated vehicles. Xgimi introduced the Ascend a large motorized projector screen combined with a soundbar which pairs wirelessly with the Xgimi Aura, two short throw projector. The company hinted that it might integrate AI for brightness and color calibration, though it remains a prototype with no firm release date. Acer displayed an 11-inch handheld gaming PC with enough horsepower for large game libraries featuring modern AMD components that rely on AI-based optimizations for certain performance and upscaling tasks. Dell announced that it is retiring lines like Latitude and XPS in favor of three main categories. Dell Dell Pro and Dell Pro Max, each with base plus and premium sublevels. The rebranding aims to simplify consumer choices while still offering different specs and features. PetCube had a water fountain that filters and purifies water for pets, backed by a UVC light system and an app that tracks daily consumption. Bosch displayed the Revel Smart Crib, equipped with sensors and cameras that track heart rate, respiratory patterns, and other signals. AI routines enable gentle rocking and an alert system if there is a safety concern and the crib can later be transformed into a desk. John Deere expanded its AI-focused farming solutions, including self-driving tractor sprayers that detect weeds or crop areas and ride on lawn mowers for large estates or golf courses. Glocal Me showed off a key tracker for pets that uses multiple coverage options to locate an animal on a worldwide scale. Xtool revealed the F1 Ultra a dual laser engraver with both fiber and diode modules that can engrave metals, plastics, and wood. 
Segway introduced e-bikes under the XFRI and Zyber lines, each with anti-theft and GPS navigation features. Volvo's CEO addressed transportation and infrastructure trends, highlighting the company's path to fossil-free vehicles with added safety features. Samsung Booth included a deeper look at smart things with a range of connected devices such as an AI washer that stores detergent in a reservoir, a smart tag for pets, and an indoor gardening box supported by sensors that optimize plant growth. Nurbel introduced a set of headphones, the MW75, that detect the user's brainwaves to measure focus. A demonstration involved a rocket that moved faster or slower depending on the wearer's concentration levels, track through EEG sensors. Viv Health displayed the Viv Ring for health tracking, which has biometrics such as heart rate, stress levels, and oxygen saturation. Its main twist involves AI-generated ambient soundscapes to improve sleep, combined with typical activity monitoring. A pro version planned for later release may include continuous blood pressure checks and AFib detection. Atari introduced the GameStation Go, built by my arcade containing over 200 Atari titles. It includes controllers like a joystick, D-pad and trackball, plus an SD card slot. Jackery presented a solar roof designed to resemble regular terracotta tiles. It operates at a 25% efficiency rate, slightly higher than many consumer solar panels, and carries a 30-year warranty paired with the Jackery Home Power Energy System. It stores solar energy for use later. Asus introduced a Chromebook CX14 at around $200 featuring a 14-inch 10 ADP display and an Intel Celeron and 4,500 CPU. A 15-inch variant comes in the new Chromebook Plus line with stronger processors at a slightly higher price. ESR launched the Geo Digital Pencil, which costs about $30 and integrates with Apple's Find My system. It only needs half an hour to charge and offers around 12 hours of usage, along with a tilt sensor and palm rejection. Amos Fit showed another prototype called V1 Tal, a small camera that sits on a table and uses AI to identify food items being consumed. It pushes the analyzed data, like calories, carbs, proteins, to the Zep app, creating automatic logs of daily meals. We Walk displayed a new generation smart cane, which uses sensors and haptic feedback to guide visually impaired users around obstacles and pairs with a smartphone, AI for navigation assistance. Garmin's Instinct 3 arrived with an AMOL display option and 24 days of battery life. A solar version has a monochrome MIP screen and might go much longer thanks to sunlight charging. It has additional features such as an integrated flashlight and advanced activity metrics. Even with an outdoors focus, the watch can sync with smartphones to receive notifications and track various health parameters including heart rate variability. The crowds at day two seemed lighter than they were on the first day, which gave more room for people to test e-bikes, meet caretaker robots, and see advanced baby crib demos. Many automotive companies showcased improvements in autonomy or new concepts with Waymo preparing for more expansions in multiple US cities. Sony, Honda Mobility displayed prototypes of upcoming EVs emphasizing AI-based personalization while NVIDIA's new chips were behind numerous robotics demonstrations. Panasonic kept returning to the role of generative AI as a found. Peace for wellness and supply chain optimization. Day two at CES 2025 proved AI is everywhere. Robots handling chores, smart cribs, monitoring babies and brainwave sensing, headphones, redefining wearables from autopilot tractors to stretchable screens. It's all about smarter, adaptive tech, simplifying life, and this is just the beginning. Are we ready for this level of innovation? Or is it reshaping our lives faster than we realize? Which of these innovations are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest tech trends. See you in the next one.